Hello everyone, you're watching another CasinoAffiliatePrograms.com video interview where we profile some of the most influential people in the online gaming industry. Uh, today we're going to talk with Martin Walbauer, CEO of NPC Entertainment and Zaragona Limited. Uh, Martin is one of the largest affiliates in the Netherlands and has been a successful affiliate not only inside of online gambling but also outside in verticals such as Forex, travel, day deals and others. Uh, he also provides valuable services to other affiliates based on his uh, extensive learnings and we'll get more info into both on both of these in this interview. Uh, Martin, thanks for your time today. Just to start things out, uh, could you please take a minute or two and tell us a little bit about yourself? I live in the Netherlands, a very net, well, the best country in Europe, and uh, working mostly from home. Well, that's the biggest advantage for being an affiliate. You can work from home. You, uh, we also have an office. And um, what I'm doing now is uh, working 24-7 to be a successful affiliate. Great. So you started your career in traditional sales, um, corporate sales, if you will, then went into traditional marketing uh, as well in a, in a large um, multinational company before, before becoming a full-time affiliate or an internet marketer, rather. How did you get introduced to internet marketing and why was it so interesting for you? Well, first of all, it just happened, I think, with a joke because, you know, I was uh, playing poker and well then i find out that it's possible to refer a friend and stuff like that well i just try it out and it um, it seems to work so from then on i started a, a poker website on uh, poker no it's on free webs it's a, a, a place where you can create a free website and i started to promote some poker brands like party poker and uh, titan poker i think and mansion and after two, three years, it started to generate money. And I was, yeah, very surprised. And well, that was actually the start um, of my affiliate career. I was thinking, okay, this is something I want to dive into and, well, try to make a living out of it. And from one on the other day, I just started to, uh, with a C, uh, SEO company uh, just to learn how you drive uh, natural traffic to your website. And well, that's actually the start of, of, of uh, NBC Entertainment. Just, it started with a joke. Okay. That's, and that's what year it. was this in, when you really, when you started referring friends to playing poker? Um, I think I started something like 2000 and, uh, no, no, uh, 1998. Okay. No, uh, it was later, it was later. I think in the year 2000, 2002, then, with a poker hype when it started, then I started to refer some friends, and later on uh, I started with a, a free web, just a free website to promote some poker brands. So, so <clears throat> poker was your first vertical. You didn't do any other like retail verticals or anything before getting into, in, straight into gaming? No, the only thing I did was uh, I had a SEO company, uh, SEO Go, uh, we provided uh, SEO services to uh, Dutch companies and it was, yeah, well, this was the only thing we did. But I also used it for our uh, first website, of course. It was uh, Magra Poker Club. That was uh, our first website uh, site in the Netherlands. And after that, we started to create more websites and, well, then the, the company started to, to, to get bigger and bigger. Okay. And when did you, I, I guess, how long did it take you to start making money after, after starting the referrals? Well, after starting, in, in the beginning it was quite easy to make money because I didn't have a, a, a staff or people I needed to pay. Uh, but when we started really serious with 10 websites, I think it took over five to six months to, to well, to eat from it. Yeah, to make a living out, out of it. Okay, great. So it, it was pretty fast because it was in the middle of the poker bubble, so it was a pretty good time to get started. Yeah, definitely. Tell us a little bit about the company today, though, in terms of your staff. I mean, you said you have, you have an office there in the Netherlands. How many people work for the company? Uh, I know, I think your son is also involved in the company. We've met before at conferences. So just give us a little bit about the, um, about the team behind your organization. Yeah, well, we working with a very diverse team. We have a team all over the world. We have uh, some people on Cyprus, on Malta, in Germany, but also in Belgium and in the Netherlands. Um, the most part of the company is um, staff. Uh, well, well, yeah, it's they work with a, a different system. It's 
that are, they are all affiliates. Uh, we grabbed those affiliates and we told them, okay, just join our network and we will uh, do some uh, stuff for you like SEO and marketing. And in, you know, well, that's the way we build our company with all uh, other affiliates joining MPC. Um, and we have a staff of six people who are working uh, day and night for MPC. Great, okay. So our view, for our viewers who don't know much about the Dutch market, tell us about the current legal climate in the Netherlands as it relates to online gambling. Well, it's, it's still not legal in the Netherlands. Um, uh, they are working on it right now. So uh, the government is looking for this, the same system as France or Italy. So uh, they're trying to legalize it and regulate it. Um, I think it will take another uh, one or two years before they yeah, really get started here because it's, it's very complicated. They don't have people to, uh, to really, uh, yeah, to really uh, control everything. And I don't, I don't think they know what are, they are doing. I think that's the biggest issue because, you know, we have in the Netherlands, uh, we have Holland Casino. That's the only casino in the Netherlands who is allowed to run casinos, so offline casinos. Mm. And the thing is, it's state-owned, so it's not a private company. So everything related to gambling is uh, from the state. I see. Okay. As far as the games that Dutch players prefer, um, what, what, what would you say are the most popular games? I mean, there's, for example, slots the still most profitable game for affiliates in this market. And what about poker? Yeah, we, well, uh, our biggest business in the Netherlands right now is slots. Uh, we call them Gokkasten, that's a pretty uh, strange name, but it's, it's one of the biggest businesses here because we have a lot of uh, slot uh, plazas, you, you call it here in the Netherlands. It's like an uh, entertainment park, so offline, and there you can play all kinds of typical Dutch slots. You don't have them uh, abroad, it's typical Dutch. And what we see, we have over 20 uh, Dutch slot websites and they are still uh, the biggest income for us right now. But we see a big change in the market. What we see right now is that something like 20 or 30 percent of our players, casino players, are playing at live gaming right now. So what you see is that the players, they want more quality, they want uh, a direct approach with a dealer. Um, and I think it will, next year or the, the year after, we will have 50% uh, of the players in live gaming. So, but it's still, it's still slot machines in the Netherlands. Um, and I think it will stay that way because it's typical, typical Dutch. Um, about poker, uh, that's a different story because we had a very big, very big business with poker uh, something like four years ago. But the player uh, wants to have quality. Mm -hmm. So what we see in the Netherlands is that poker players are going to typical Dutch uh, poker rooms like uh, Holland Poker, Amsterdam Poker, or Poker House. Um, they do this because, you know, um, they can talk Dutch with all the people in the poker rooms. Uh, they think it's more trustful because they are 100% Dutch. So what we see is that all the players who used to play at Full Tilt or Poker Stars or Party Poker, they are going now to more Dutch-related uh, websites. So I think there is a, also a very good opportunity in the future um, for new poker rooms in the Netherlands. So you're saying for Dutch players, they've kind of created their own ecosystem within the Dutch market where they want to be playing only with other Dutch players. Is that correct? Exactly. That's not only in the poker market, that's also in the casino market. Uh, when we, yeah, so when we see um, typical Dutch casinos like Amsterdam's Casino or Kroon Casino, uh, the, the players love to play there because they are in a real Dutch environment with typical Dutch games, with Dutch payment uh, methods. Uh, but also they, they think, you know, they, they're surrounded by Dutch players, they have typical Dutch promotions and, and things like that. Uh, what we see is that 80% of the Dutch players um, are playing in 100% real Dutch casinos and they don't go to uh, casinos with a Dutch translation because 
to be fair, you know, uh, ninety percent of all the Dutch translations on casinos are not good enough. Mm. And I think there's, that's the main problem, because, uh, you know, it's not investing in good quality uh, Dutch content. Okay. And what would be your advice really quickly to those either casinos or affiliates who are having that problem? Is it to get it, just make sure it's a localized yeah. um, speaker yeah, or writer? Sure. What we do is we also speak to casinos and we check their uh, translations. We also work with a very good translation company. They are working 80% uh, for us, but also for other projects. Uh, we are also doing that with a Dutch casino right now. I not call you, uh, tell you a name right now. You will sure. find out enough. Um, but we also did some translation work for uh, casinoclub.com. Okay. You know, okay. so their Dutch website is perfectly Dutch right now. So. And you see the difference because when the content is good, good Dutch, the player will come and play. Because when the Dutch player sees some some mistakes or some spelling mistakes, they 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 don't play because they don't trust you, and they think it's a scam or something like that. So they are really yeah, it's very very a special uh, casino audience, the okay. Dutch people. No, that's good yeah. to know. Thank you for that. Um, so in terms of your marketing, I mean, how many, approximately how many depositors do you deliver each month to your gambling advertisers? And are most of those players from the Netherlands or other markets as well? Yeah, right now, 80% of those players are Dutch. Um, well, the biggest uh, bunch of players uh, are, of course, slot players because that is moving really quick. They can do small deposits. We also have micro payments on slots. So it's going very fast with depositors on slots. So when we also take the slot players uh, within this question, uh, we are talking uh, 2,000k a month. Okay. Um, and well, it's yeah, it's it's getting better, and better every month because we are also focusing on the European market right now. And well, I think it's still 80% Dutch traffic uh, of players and 20% uh, abroad. Great. That's a great, great volume. Um, and obviously your company is quite diverse. Can you tell us about yeah. just a little brief uh, understanding of each of your current projects and how they help both players and webmasters? From our understanding, you have uh, initiatives, again, that are catering to depositors or to customers, but also to other affiliates in the verticals in which you operate. Um, so just a quick quick little overview and then maybe we can get into some of the detail of each one. Yeah, so well, you know, um, we have different projects. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a person, I want to do something different every day. Sure. Typical so entrepreneur. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, I'm getting out of bed and I think, okay, what I'm, what I'm going to do today. Yeah. And so, uh, what you get then is that you got a lot of projects, um, well, we do new projects every month. Uh, we have projects like uh, Player Digger, How to Bring Traffic. How to Bring Traffic is a SEO website where webmasters can read and educate themselves about SEO and bringing natural traffic. Uh, we have a, a Daily Deal um, website right now. Uh, we are working... Um, yeah, we have also an affiliate uh, network, Mediaplexa. So that's the place where um, affiliates can sign up and we will get the better deal for them. Uh, but we also can help them with SEO, with good quality content, uh, with building a good quality website, but also with bring them traffic and uh, how, to, uh, yeah, how to promote the right brands in, in the right market. Right. Um, so Player Digger, that's a really interesting concept. How is it currently doing and what sort of gave you the idea for it? Yeah, well, Player Digger is, is um, you, we were thinking about a total new way of uh, how to get the player and uh, the casino or poker room together. You know, the traditional way is either a, a banner farm or a affiliate website, uh, things like that. We were thinking like, okay, how is it possible to let the casino know before the player comes in what the player wants? That would be the ideal situation, of course, when, right. when the casino knows what the player is coming to do, right? Because it's, it's very hard for the casino to 
uh, to track a player or to, to know what a player wants because he's just signing up, getting his bonus and starts to play. What we do with Player Digger is players can sign up with us uh, and they can exactly tell us what they want. Like, okay, I want an, a, bonus, uh, a bonus amount of $1,000 um, or I want some free money. Uh, I like to play slots or I like to play live games or roulette. So they, they can tell us exactly what they expect from a casino. When we have the player, the player will, uh, well, make, make uh, something like an offer to a casino. Like, okay, I am uh, Mr. Martijn, I want a $1,000 deposit bonus and I love to play slots. Then the casinos come in and they can bid on the player. And the one with the highest bid will run with the player. That's, that's basically the whole idea. So what you do is um, you inform the casinos uh, what the player wants. And that's a total different approach, of course. And we also see because, you know, casinos and poker rooms are a little bit suspicious on this new way because they are like, OK, you don't want to have revenue share or CPA. And we say, no, you just pay one time for the player, then you run. So it's it's very new for them and we are looking now for a new marketing approach because it's it's not really working for the casinos for the players it's working they sure. want to but the casinos they are very like okay um they have uh, staff problems like okay who is going to do that uh things like that so it's it's well it's a total new approach but i think casinos and poker rooms need more time to get used on yeah on this new idea great no i think it's an it could be a really efficient model but uh yeah. it's, it's very interesting um so i guess from some of our discussions in the past uh, obviously it seems like you're very interested in helping other affiliates succeed as as are we uh both mediaplex and how to bring traffic.com seem to cater to this can you give us a little more detail in which ways you help um or you can help smaller affiliates become more successful yeah well First of all, uh, we always want to educate uh, new affiliates on the basic things, you know, because uh, the most important thing of, for, for an affiliate is, of course, a good website. Uh, after that, he needs good SEO and he needs good deals. It's very important uh, when you have a website that you have good deals and that they are targeting the right audience. That is also very important. So basically what we do is we educate them on uh, Mediaplexa and on how to bring traffic.com. But we also, you know, just sit with them and talk what they want. It's very important to, to, to know what they want, what their expectations are, things like that. When we see uh, that it's a very uh, well a willing person and uh, really wants to succeed in this business, then we go to the next step. Normally, that um, uh, normally we we go in a partnership with this affiliate, and then he can use our uh, network, our deals, and also our SEO skills. So um, basically, our Total poker network is built that way, like NPC Poker, uh, MarwaPokerClub.com, things like that. So the, the complete poker um, uh, network is also enhanced from other affiliates. It's not only our company, but also from other affiliates. So what we basically do is we partner with a lot of affiliates and a lot of other people because, you know, when they are successful, we are successful. and. The way around. Okay, and approximately how many affiliates are you currently doing that with? That sort of joint venture approach. Well, right now we're doing that with five affiliates. Okay. Um, because you know we we spoke with a lot of affiliates, but we really want to work with people who are really really um, keen to to be successful. Uh, they also need some skills, of course. We don't work with people who just want to make money because everybody wants to make money, but they need some skills, some basic skills. Um, well, we're working now with five affiliates, but in the future we want to go to 10 or 15 just to make this network bigger and bigger. And what are those basic skills that they should have if someone's interested? 
Well, first of all, um, it's very important to have some basic uh, skills on marketing uh, uh, or SEO or um, website building. Some of those skills uh, are important to be a good and, and successful webmaster or affiliate. So um, one of those skills is good enough for me, you know, because we have a lot of skills here in the company and when we put them together, it's, it's very, uh, um, yeah, then, then you can have a good success uh, website. So that's basically the, one of those skills and that's good enough for us. Great. And you're saying you spend some one-on-one -on -one time with affiliates also. So that's basically affiliate coaching? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, first of all, you know, when we do some affiliate coaching, uh, we just, yeah, first, uh, wants to know each other, of course, then we look over their websites, look over the deals they have, we look on the way, uh, we, look, we look on their marketing plan. When, he, when they don't have a marketing plan, we create a marketing plan with them. Uh, yeah, we, we try to find out what is the best way to bring traffic to the website. You know, you can think on PPC or on natural traffic, things like that. So it's yeah, it's just a one-on-one -on -one, uh, teacher and, and student uh, lesson, something like that, yeah. Okay, so for an affiliate who's watching this, who has those basic skills that's really trying to take his business to the next level, what's the best way for him to get in touch with MediaPlex or with your company? Is it to go to MediaPlexa.com and submit an inquiry there? Yeah, the best way to do that is uh, to mail me at uh, info at mpcentertainment.com or just go to our website and there is a contact form and uh, just ask for an, uh, for an inquiry and then, well, we can take it from there, no problem. Okay, perfect. Thanks for that. Um, great, so just going back to your affiliate business, you're in many other verticals outside of online gambling. What made you decide to diver diversify outside of online gambling and how did you choose those verticals? that you went into, such as travel and uh, daily deals? Yeah, well, you know, I'm always thinking like, okay, tomorrow can be the last day, mm. you know, because uh, the business is, is strange, the gaming. Because it's un unregulated, is that why? You have 80% yeah, of your sure. traffic in an unregulated unreg market. Exactly. Okay. So, you know, we really don't know what the governments are up to. You, you saw it on Black Friday. Yep. Uh, all kinds of big companies are falling down right now. So I always think, okay, tomorrow can be the last day of this business. And that's also the reason why we choose to work in several uh, verticals, you know? So, um, and we just look at trends. We look what's, what's a good uh, strategy. And that's why we choose travel because, you know, travel is always a good business. Um, everybody is traveling and you need high SEO skills to be on the top 10 of traveling. So that was a very, very, yeah, a very good um, uh, vertical for us to start with. Uh, after that, we started with Forex um, and some other uh, uh, financial verticals. Um, and well, the newest vertical is daily deals, of course, because, you know, it's, it's a booming business, daily deals. And what we saw in the Netherlands is that there are not enough uh, deal aggregates here in the Netherlands. So we started FanWim, and that's uh, a Dutch um, website where we uh, have deals from several um, operators like uh, Groupon. I see. Is, is uh, Groupon or Living Social, are, do, are, do, do they have subsidiaries for the Dutch market now? Yeah, we do uh, Living Social and Groupon right now, and we are working now to get two more on the Dutch market. I see. And Dutch retailers, are they accepting of these types of daily deal models? I mean, are they willing to try them out? Yeah, they're absolutely willing to try them out. Um, Groupon is it's very successful in the Netherlands. There are uh, more than uh, 2 million sub subscribers right now in the Netherlands. Wow. Well, that's a lot because we have 16 million people, so that's that's really... Yeah, big business, so uh, that's why we are so keen to also get a piece of the pie. Wow, that's huge. So out of all these verticals, which one have you seen the most success in? Um, just again, outside of online gambling, which one has, has proven to be the most lucrative for you? Well, the most lucrative is still the Dutch casino one. Yeah. Okay. How about outside yeah. of that, though? What would be number two? Uh, number two will be... 
I think traveling. Travel, okay. Great. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, okay, so in the last nine years since you started your own internet marketing company, what, where did you find the most success? The most success, success in, in terms of? What, what, was your, what was your strategy? Was it, was it just focusing on natural search? Um, what, what was that real, real huge breakthrough where you took the biggest step forward? What, what did you do to, to make that happen? Well, I think, you know, uh, when you start uh, with a website or with a network and we choose to go for natural traffic because I'm a believer of natural traffic because it's the strongest traffic you can get in this business. So normally it will take you one to two years to get top positions, top 10 positions. And well, the most, the best uh, time, I think it was last year, summer last year, then we get into the top positions and that was the time that yeah traffic went up and um, players uh, came in so yeah in terms of your biggest success you're saying when minute when that breakthrough happened and you were you got on the top 10 for some really big keywords that really boomed the business financially and in terms of depositors exactly and that's that's of course the best time because you know you're working very hard to get there and well that's that's and, and the nicest part is, you know, we worked for it. Uh, it's not PPC. It, there's also a skill, of course. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of uh, companies who are doing PPC, but it, we tried it, but, you know, it was not our cup of tea. So we just stayed our, at our SEO uh, skills because we think in long term, uh, a good SEO strategy will always win. Sure. Sure. Great. So who are some of your favorite operators to work with and why? Uh, well, my favorite operators. Well, everybody will kill me when I, <laughs> when I say that. Of course. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Yeah, sure. But I will go for some Dutch companies. Uh, I will go for Net Gaming Solutions. And uh, Net Gaming Solutions, um, they have casinos like Amsterdam Casino and Jack Uh This is a very strong uh, Dutch company with very good affiliate managers. Um, they have really very 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 good products uh, like casinos but also a poker room a Dutch poker room and the nice thing is they are also moving now to uh, to the international market and they are also working with a new slot lines a uh, new slot line uh, called sheriff gaming you heard of that no I haven't it's a new 3d uh, slot line you really have to look into it because it's Excellent. This is the best 3D slot I ever saw. So that's one of my favorite. And well, also slot partners. Slot partners is the biggest um, typical Dutch slot machines uh, affiliate company. So I love to work with them because you know they just keep their promises. Uh, they're not bullshitting around. They always pay. And when I want something, I get it. It's as simple as that. Um, and the, the other one is an international one. It's uh, Neo Games or Aspire. Mm -hmm. Aspire affiliates, uh, they're also really strong. They also keep their promise. And well, I didn't tell you that, but we also went into the scratch card business two years ago. So we also have the Dutch markets now. Uh, we are, well, we are doing pretty well in, in, in scratch cards. So, but I think, yeah, Aspire affiliates, they are really uh, inspiring. <laughs> they are, yeah, they have a good staff uh, and they have a Dutch affiliate manager. Uh, I can call them anytime I want. Um, and when I need something, they will make sh sure that it happens. And that's very important for me. Great. Can I also tell my dislikes or is that not allowed? Of course, absolutely. Uh, you feel, please uh, feel free. Okay, great. Well, I, I don't, I don't tell names of course because it would be a little bit rude. But I think it's also very important for affiliates to keep in mind that a good affiliate program is key in this business. First of all, you need an affiliate manager uh, who is really dedicated to you. You know, it's important that you have him on Skype or you have his phone number uh, that you can contact him every time. What I see in this business is that a lot of uh, uh, affiliate programs abroad, they want to come into the Dutch market. And they're really, really trying hard to get in. 
But at the end of the day, um, they are not really willing to work very hard for that. They always think they can do a prepaid uh, um, thing or they give me some money and then I will promote it. Uh, but it, it's not as easy as that, you know, when you promote a casino in the Netherlands, you need to have custom landing pages, you need to have custom uh, depositing bonuses, especially for the Dutch market, things like that. When you don't have it, don't start in the Dutch market, because it will not happen. So my advice to all the affiliates, but also to, uh, to the affiliate programs, Good quality Dutch content is key when you want to succeed in the Dutch market. Great. I agree with you. I think great communication and having specialized landing pages and offers, not only for the Dutch market, but also whether you're targeting Germany, Italy, France, it applies across the board. So I think those, sure. are, those are two yeah. great, great uh, pieces of advice. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, tell us about the future for MPC Entertainment and its associated companies. What What's next for you? Where, where are you going um, as a business? Well, where are we going? Um, well, just to be uh, honest, I want to be in three years, I want to be number one in Europe. Okay. Why not? We can make it happen. Hard sure. work, no problem. And maybe, you know, when we partner up with uh, casinoaffiliateprograms.com, it will happen in the, in, the, in the near future, no problem. And we also will take America when it's allowed there. So, but no, just to be honest, you know, we want to continue the way we work now. Um, work with a lot of people, uh, have fun, that's very important, and discover new markets uh, every year, that's also very important. Uh, be original uh, and be strong and honest. I think, yeah, that's right. the best way right. to success in the future. So it sounds like you're moving into the rest of Europe. What, what countries are next for you? What, what markets are you really interested in? Yeah, the most interesting market uh, right now, we're working very hard on that one right now, is Germany. Uh, Germany is also the most difficult market in the world because, you know, it's very hard to get a, a German player because, you know, it's, I think it's even harder than a Dutch player. Because they also, they, they want quality content um, and the most important thing for a German player is security and trust. Well, it's very hard to get that, of course, when you're, uh, when you're online. Uh, what you see, for instance, at uh, casinoclub.com, they do all kinds of stuff for German players. They go with them to the opera, they have a, a, a very good uh, VIP program. They have a very good uh, VIP uh, bonus system. Uh, they have personal contact with the players. That's very important for German players. And that's also what we try to do uh, as an affiliate. We, we are going to try uh, to give them a more personal approach, also on the website. So that will be a new approach. You will see that very soon. But yeah, we, we are going to a more social uh, level on the website itself. So it's, it's more like social media and, and yeah. So I think it's, it's, it's really a nice market, it's a German market. It's a hard market, but yeah, I, th I think we will succeed over there. And after Germany, um, we go for the UK and then um, we'll see. Also a very difficult market. Uh, yeah, I love the difficult markets. I think that's, that's yeah, but you know, difficult, uh, I think that's, that's very good because, you know, when the market is difficult and you do a good job, you will sure. achieve it. Yeah, that, that's definitely, those markets definitely have the player volumes and the activity to make it worthwhile if you can break through. Absolutely. Exactly. I can, you know, I can spend my time on some traffic from uh, Eastern Europe. Yeah. You know, but the thing is, you need, you need a shitload of traffic to get depositors, you know, so I think it's better to invest in, in hard markets and after some year you will get the profits from that. So, yeah, we go for quality, quality and quality. That's, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And likewise, the advice that we give affiliates is um, in the long term, those markets like Eastern Europe, they will, they will come to light. They will be profitable. But do you want to wait three, four, five years? So our advice is always focus on your bread and butter, but also have a certain percentage of your efforts on the long term, you know, Eastern European markets, if you will. So 
I agree with you on that. I think if you can break through in the bigger markets, why not take that, take the action and you'll make a lot more money sooner. Sure. Um, what resources have you used to learn and expand your skills as a professional internet marketer? How did you pick up the knowledge? How did you progress and move forward? Well, number one is of course Google. You know, yeah. you can Google everything these days. So, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's Google, it's, it's some for us. Um, well, to be honest, I started on GPWA. Sure. And, well, that's, that's the way it went that day. So, and, well, you know, it's just speaking to other people in the business. Um, what we do, we all always visiting all the affiliate conferences. Yeah. Uh, also uh, all the other affiliate conferences so not only the casino ones but also the regular ones uh, just to get in touch with uh, with professionals and well when you have conversations and listen very well you will learn very quick sure which are those other conferences that you attend non, non gambling I mean, related uh, well uh, the one in don't ask me the name right now sure. that's the biggest one in Germany uh, and is it a for you yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. And we also go to the affiliate, it's called Affiliate Conference in the Netherlands. And there you have also companies like Xanox and Trade Doubler and companies like that. So it's okay. the more, yeah, normal markets, how they call it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Great. whatever. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and any, uh, any advice you can give other affiliates who are watching this interview just to help them become more successful? Yeah, sure. You know, it's very important. The, yeah, the most important thing is quality, always quality all around, like quality content, a quality website, a website that's working, uh, work with quality products, only go for the best casinos, best poker rooms, best scratch cards, uh, yeah, well, that's, that's actually key, quality, uh, try to educate your players, don't give them some crappy content or a banner farm, because that's not working, you know. I, I, you know that 80% of all the affiliates still think that that's working. You know, we, we had an affiliate and we showed him how to do it differently. He had a lot of traffic on a banner farm. After changing his website, you know, he increased his profits with almost 600%. So it's so important to have a good quality uh, educational website for your players because it, you know de they deserve to have a quality environment to start playing casino or poker. Great, that makes perfect sense. I think there's a lot of a lot of sites out there. And you need to stand uh, outside of the crowd. Uh, and yeah. Do something different. Great. Exactly. Well, thank thanks a lot, Martin. It's it's been great having you. Uh, we appreciate all your time and insight during the interview. Um, for our viewers who are watching this, if you wish to get in touch with Martin at the end of this interview, please send us an email um, at interviews at casinoaffiliateprograms.com or also uh, Martin has been gracious enough to give out his direct address, which is again info at mpcentertainment.com. Um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for future interviews with other industry leaders. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.